The Honourable Member for Rosevears. Thanks very much, Mr President. And uh, Tasmania's flora and fauna have had a pretty hard time since European settlement. As far as our animals are concerned, the demise of the Tasmanian tiger was a tragedy which has really upset Tasmania's natural animal balance forever. Although we did see a story yesterday where somebody believes that uh, there is still at least one or others in existence in Tasmania. Hmm? Yes, <laughs> so the search will continue for a partner for that, for that animal. Um, but uh, of course we know the Tasmanian devil is under threat, but that should survive with the help that's being offered uh, in abundance. Because of the natural imbalance I mentioned, Mr President, the eastern quoll is also threatened and one of the very few native uh, mammal predators left in Tasmania. Europeans wiped out the giant wombat soon after settlement. And uh, now, I'm uh, not happy to report, Mr President, the smooth-nosed wombat is threatened by mange. But that problem is being fought with determination. A wombat with sarcoptic mange is a very pitiful sight. The parasitic sarcoptic scabii female might burrows under the skin resulting in thick plaques which begin on the face and on the flanks of the animal. And it's an extreme irritant and the plaques are scratched and ripped open and uh, in the summer fly maggots then become another issue for the animals. The phases of mange are easily identified into three categories. The first two are eminently treatable, but by the end stage wombat immunity is so compromised that secondary infections lead to fatality. And the pouch young also become infected. I might point out that the, the animals actually go blind and are deaf. So when they go to scavenge for food, then they do it in the daytime, because they haven't got a clue that it's, uh, that it's not night time. So then the predators like dogs, uh, the wedge-tailed eagles, uh, then uh, can attack the wombats. So it's a shocking situation. Parks and Wildlife and Depipwe officers uh, deal with the issue by shooting the affected wombats, Mr President. But this, this may put them out of their misery, but uh, that it really does nothing to eradicate the infestation. But the Tasmanian Wildlife Rehabilitation Council says the mange is treatable, but it requires community commitment and, of course, those reliable volunteers, which Tasmania does have in abundance at times. Weekly doses of Cydectin cattle poron are required for 12 weeks in the treatment, followed by fortnightly treatments <coughs> for two months or longer if the mange is already progressed. And this is where the volunteers come in, Mr President. I might point out they had a they had a meeting recently of people and they said that we've got a problem with the wombats. 45 people turned up to the meeting at Kelso just because they have a concern for the wombat. But how do you administer a cattle poron to wombats with mange? Well, I'll just explain that shortly, uh, Mr President, but the Kelso community in my electorate are very keen to help fight wombat mange and the volunteers there are running two programs. Adopt a Wombat, which operates in the town area where wombats live under the buildings and in nearby paddocks, like in house paddocks. Uh, and the second program uh, covers broad acre sites where wombats' burrows can be hard to find and uh, to access. Now, the method used to regularly apply the poron uses what I've distributed uh, through here, that photo that I've distributed. Uh, it uses a flap. Uh, hanging from a frame at the burrow entrances and on pathways that are regularly used by the wombats. The wombats brush against that hanging flap, which, uh, which, which then uh, pours, it spills a dose of the poron onto the wombat's back. And the cydactin poron works as it does on cattle. The dose needs to be applied only to a small area rather than the whole infestation. Then it's drawn into the body of the animal. The technology, it sounds complicated, Mr President, but it's almost absurdly simple. 
That's you see there, the lid of an ice cream container is hung by cable ties to a steel uh, rod frame. A plastic bottle lid is then jammed in the slit in the plastic and filled with the pour on. The wombat, as I say, brushes underneath, the flap tilts, the pour on spills from the bottle lid onto its back. So really, it's absolutely ingenious. And uh, I, I will point out too that they're using night cameras as well to take pictures <coughs> of the before and after. So they can keep a track of the, the, the cure for the animals. <coughs> the treatment regime may not be the ultimate solution to uh, wombat mange, but it certainly makes a big difference. And it seems that European settlers upset the balance of Tasmania's fauna, and it's now up to all of us to help minimise the damage. I might say, Leader, I did appreciate the fact that after the questioning last week that you did take the opportunity to come to my electorate of Rosevears, to talk with the people and to see firsthand the work that they're doing, and I think that that inspiration from my electorate will spread throughout certainly the rest of Tasmania and probably further afield. By the way, Mr President, you'll be pleased to know that's episode one of my talk on uh, Wombat Mange. I'll be back with episode two next week. Thank you. <laughs>